We all know how much of a hassle buying a car can be. You spend so much time driving around trying to find the perfect car, negotiating over the price, and worrying about the quality of the vehicle. But not anymore. Vroom is the better way to buy and sell used cars. When you go to Vroom.com, you can shop thousands of cars right from your phone. They have all the popular makes and models and no-haggle pricing, so you know you're getting a good deal. Best of all, they'll deliver your new ride directly to you. Vroom stands by its vehicles, too. Every car and truck from Vroom goes through a thorough inspection and reconditioning process and comes with a 90-day limited warranty. On top of that, you have 7 days or 250 miles, whichever comes first, to make sure it's the car for you. And if you don't love it, you can return it. You can also sell or trade in your current car on Vroom and they'll pick it up for free. Just answer a few questions about your car on the Vroom website and you'll get an offer in as little as two minutes. So whether it's buying your next car, selling or trading in your current one, Vroom has you covered. Start shopping today at Vroom.com. That's Vroom.com. This episode is made possible by PwC. A robot may not be coming for your job, but competitors are coming for your market share. At PwC, we pair the right tech with the right solutions to help you gain a competitive edge. Reimagine operations from the cloud, fuel innovation with responsible AI, and detect risks before they become headlines. That's human-led and tech-powered. It's all part of The New Equation. Learn more at thenewequation.com. We can start a singing career now if you want. Oh, we can. Okay. Well, I listen. You, I think you know that I'm a big Celine Dion fan, Fine. and so oh. obviously, <laughs> obviously, I want it to be a Celine Dion cover band. We could be on, uh, uh, you know, maybe Mariah Carey. Um, I could, I could do some Mariah Carey. I, we all know I can get my voice up that high. So, uh, yeah, that's Let's what confuse I would people. Let's dress like Michael Bolton. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Sing like Celine Dion. But dance like Tupac. Oh, well, how about this? How about a nice crossover of of like Mariah Carey mixed with like System of a Down? Ooh, System of a Carey. System of a Carey. Yeah, System of yeah. Except for we don't have Mariah down. Carey. All we have is Drew Carey. Ooh, and he doesn't even need to wear glasses anymore, the jackass. I know, those are all fake. <laughs> I know, they're all fake. What's going on, man? How are you, Eric? Hey, by the way, this is, uh, wait, what podcast is this? I don't know. I just turned it on, record it, and that's it. Yeah, I think it's... We have herpes? Yeah, no, no, no. That's the secret project that we're working on, and that's also what I just told my doctor. <laughs> uh, no, this is, we should be better at this, the, the longest running podcast in the history of the world, in case you were wondering. We invented podcasting uh, like 39 years ago or however long it's been. I've lost all track of time since COVID started. Yeah. Uh, no, anyhow, he's not lying, actually. It was the Chris and Eric show back in 2001. Yeah, so it's been it's been quite a while. If only we would have figured out the whole technological aspect of how to podcast oh, uh, back then, we could have been invented it, patented it, and all that kind of stuff. Well, the good thing is we've 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 evolved, and instead of having some lame name like the Chris and Eric show, it's we should be better at that. Well, that didn't get any better. Yeah, did no, it? it didn't get any better okay. at all. But that really fits in. <laughs> that's really on brand, as they would well, say for us. Uh, we're trying, right? <laughs> uh, speaking of on brand, uh, you went another place you 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 seem to travel the world um and i am someone who never goes anywhere because i i'm a cheapskate and i never spend any of the money on vacations and you get to go all these cool places and you were just in germany is that correct uh yeah it was in germany then i jumped went over to hungary and i had Uh some turkey Ah, yes, there you go. And then uh, where you really went was Mexico, uh, which I believe is known for its um, uh, big ice sculptures and glaciers. Am I correct? I mean, I, I would never was good at geography. Uh, yeah, well, they're not made of ice. They're made of stone and they're called pyramids. Ah, okay. Okay. So I thought it was a very gray colored ice. But little yeah. did I know. Uh, but no, yeah, you just went to Mexico and it looked like you had a freaking blast, man. It looked beautiful. Yeah, this is actually a place that you should take your family, considering that you live pretty close to it, being in Texas and all. Texas. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we went to a place called Sandals Play Car, which is really cool. It's an all-inclusive resort, and it's like all ages, too, but they have like an adult section. So we were there, just my wife and I, my in-laws, my brother-in-law got married. Congratulations, LJ and Julie. Like, they listen to this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, it, it's an all-inclusive resort on the beach. 
Uh, there's like five restaurants, buffets, adult only buffet, which is where the servers are topless. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. We went and saw some pyramids at uh, Chicken Pizza or or what the locals call it, Chicken Pizza. Okay. Um, yes. And, I like Chicken uh, Pizza better. Mm-hmm. And uh, we saw where they break someone's back, break Wait, open the side did, of their ribs. Did, did they step on a crack? Grab their heart and rip it out. Wow. And people oh, like that Mel Gibson movie, that. Apocalypto. Yeah, pretty much like that. So, <laughs> like that, that Mel Gibson movie, Lethal Weapon. No, Wait, not no, like getting that, it mixed no. up. Okay, it was the Mel Gibson movie, Braveheart. Yeah, yes, Braveheart. Similar. See, there it is, ripping a heart out. Yeah, there's. <laughs> but yeah, no, we saw some ruins, and they had like this whole like arena uh, with this game they used to play. It, it was really cool. I learned a lot. That sucked, but um, it was yeah, really know, cool. Right? <laughs> You're like, hey, you sons of bitches. I didn't pay to learn. The worst now, part was the Give drive. me another beer so I can kill off the brain cells. I just learned something. <laughs> yeah, the worst part was the three-hour drive home because we had to drop off people at Cancun before we went back to our place and play at a Carmen. But it was pretty cool. And then we went to this place called Excaret, which if anybody's been down uh, to Cancun, they know about it. It's just a big amusement park with underground rivers, uh, jaguars, food, birds. Dolphins, snorkeling, scuba ing, snuba ing, fluba ing, whatever, anything else you can go onto the water called uba ing, yeah. which was cool. Um, but we only spent about half a day there because we were so exhausted. <laughs> yeah. And it, 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 but it, I saw a picture. You guys were like eating in a cave or something like that. Yes. Or? The dinner for the wedding, which was Wednesday night last week, we were eating steaks in a cave, man. Um, That's yeah, that was sequel. pretty cool. That's, uh, the new Samuel L. Jackson movie. <laughs> yeah. If you want to hear more of those jokes, listen to converse seat with us that came out on tuesday this week we talk all about our trip uh and then the one um prior to that is a little shorty we did in mexico but it elaborates on all the restaurants and everything it, it was dope dude. I, you once, should, literally, I once, you did, should a, I once did a little shorty in mexico too but it turned out to be yeah, but you man. paid for it uh yeah uh so uh no super cool i mean i've always wanted to go i've been all over mexico but oddly enough i've never been to that cancun side um and it's i caribbean. like caribbean yeah, I mean, the, the, the whole Cancun side of, of Mexico is not a, a part that I've um, explored much. And you're right, I am a lot closer to it. I think that's only like a two hour, two and a half hour flight for us. Mm-hmm, yeah, um, it's like four for us. Yeah, so that would be kind of, that is kind of cool, probably a lot cheaper too. But um, was it touristy or was it just the right amount of touristy? Like, how, how was it there? When we got there, uh, which was Saturday morning, super early, because we red eyed on Friday night out of TJ. Um, it was not busy and we left on the following Saturday, no following Friday. So about Wednesday is when it started getting busy. Like they just started getting like, people are actually traveling more now and stuff. So it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. The adult section was, um, full, more full than the family section, which makes sense. Cause you know, if you have kids, you're a little wary on traveling during school and stuff, but yeah, yeah, no, is the, the family section. I mean, your kids are, I mean, shit, how old's um, your youngest? 10. So, yeah, she'd enjoy the hell out of it because they have two water parks. It's fun. It's cool. So we're going to probably go back with our kids. So when we do, I'll let you know. You can schedule yours and pay for mine. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Uh, <laughs> so I, I had more questions since I'm, you know, you travel and you get to do all this fun stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, I never leave like a two-hour radius of my house because um, I'm an idiot. Uh, how was it traveling to another country with the whole COVID rules and restrictions? Like, what did you have to do to go back and forth? I cheated um, because I uh, am smart. I drove to, to, to San Diego, walked across the thing called the CBX, which is basically walking across customs. Yeah. And then I went to the Tijuana airport. So I was flying domestic, technically. So we didn't have to mess with any of that stuff. We just had to fill out a health questionnaire. Yeah, uh, but my so, but my in my brother in law, he flew out of LAX, and since they were staying for like seven days instead of six or something like that, or eight days instead of seven, they had to take a COVID test and get a negative within seventy two hours just to get it back on the plane to come home. How easy is it to obtain this stuff when you're down there? Like, do does the very hotel easy. like offer it? Yeah, they offer it. You can set up a scheduled time to go somewhere and get it done on property, or they'll come to your room. Dude, it was cool. Like, yeah, normally when I'm or, when, normally Ooh. when I'm ordering someone to come up to my room, they're not swabbing my nose. If you know what I mean. Well, that's usually what they're bringing is nose candy. What are you yes. talking about? That's exactly what they're bringing. Yeah, technically, well, yeah, but this is something they're removing from my nose. Normally, it's shoving something up in there. 
That's true. Uh, did you? I, well, this is a dumb question. Of course, you snorted Smarties when you were young. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I'm trying to look for a video real quick. In the 70s and 80s did a, sn- a Smarty snort. Oh, I know where I put them. Oh, here we go. I'm look. There they are. I have. I'm going to pull up a photo. It's a video, and I'm going to play the audio for you. And you're going to be like, and I'm going to ask you, name that whatever. Okay. Yeah. If I could find the video. Yeah, there it is. Name that whatever there i just did the drop for you you are so good at this i am i'm really good you could use that drop royalty free i probably could but then i'd have to kill you maybe i'll Ooh, there's some monkey balls hold on nope that wasn't it uh where my movie where's my movie come on it's a really fun movie it's like is this it this might be it it's taken longer to download. This is probably it. So there's lots of wildlife there, and they have the deer. We went to that ex cadet park. They had a jaguar caged, thankfully. It cool. uh, wasn't running wild or anything like that. But around the resort, there was iguanas, some big-ass iguanas. You see the picture I posted? Yeah, that big yeah, iguana? yeah, yeah. That was a big one. Yeah, yeah there was a lot of big iguanas. Um, uh, monkeys. There were some monkeys, and then they were like, there was a raccoon. And what was the other thing they had? It was like a, it was like a rodent. It was like a, it was like a big guinea pig that it was like didn't have a lot of hairs like short hair it was weird dude like there were so many different little animals running around and i can't get the video to load but the monkeys oh wait is this it see if we get some noise out of this as soon as you hear them you'll understand it but the monkeys sound like they're gonna murder you every second you hear them like you're you're standing in your your room and you'll hear them outside kind of um kind of in between the rooms and it sounds gnarly. I'm going to try to find it. So give me a second while we, while we keep talking about nothing. Is this it? <laughs> talking about that's nothing. not it. That was also the original name of the podcast, Talking About Nothing. Well, that's kind um, of what we do here. But anyway, yeah, let's keep going and then I'll find it. So, uh, yeah, so I, I, I thought that was really cool. I'm glad you were able to uh, go on that trip and get away, especially, you know, just you and the wife and not have to worry about the kids and all that. Found kind of it. Stuff. Oh, there it is. Listen to this. Some over there too, but I don't know if I can see them. There we go. Did you hear that? No. You didn't hear it? I heard you talking. I didn't hear the noise. You didn't hear the noise at all? It's not coming across? Hold on, hold on. Here. I heard the noise of you talking. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Maybe I'll pause it too soon. Right here. There we go. How did you hear that? Is that the monkeys? Yes. Wow. Sounds like death. It sounds like yeah. you, you're like walking out to, to you're going to get ambushed by uh, King Kong. He's just standing out there waiting for you to come out. And they jump up to you and, and they'll eat food from your hands, which I didn't do. I'm not stupid. I don't need an outbreak. Um, <laughs> but one I've dude. Seen, I've seen too many movies about that's like that's exactly how it starts. It's funny because we were literally watching Outbreak while we were there and they were making the noise outside. <laughs> <laughs> but one dude, we met this one dude. Uh, because there's like there's like little different little bars inside different buildings and like you find different places and there was only a few places that played the game so we went and found the game on thursday night we're sitting there in the sky met this guy's like oh, i just got into town we're like oh, we leave tomorrow oh, okay cool have you seen the monkeys yet he goes yeah we're like yeah we've seen them he goes oh i got bit by one and i'm oh. like i'm sorry and he goes yeah i got bit by one of the monkeys and i'm like like why uh, i was trying to sell, take a selfie Oh, good God, dude. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I'm leaving if this is the caliber of guests coming in right now because people are going to die here. But that guy was such That's a right. moron. And you guess where he's from? California. Texas. Oh, ah! really? Yeah, he was a jackass. Oh, man. He was. Man, but man. no, it was fun. You should do the crew. You should definitely do. I would love to do because- it. I don't want to have to deal with any of the uh, nonsense of leaving the country and all the t- like. I don't know. I just have a worry of like the testing and uh, uh, you wouldn't have to do anything like that. You could probably actually drive to the, to the border and do what I did. Well, that's a long drive for me, but anyway, and, and where our border is uh, it's like the uh, drug cartel capital of the world or something like that. So uh, El Paso. Oh yeah. You'll definitely like, become a mule. Yeah, exactly. Voluntarily. <laughs> I might add. Uh, uh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> no, yeah, up, 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 up. where do you want me to put it? Oh yeah. Go ahead. Sure. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're going to have to move around the stuff that I already have in there anyways. Right. Can you see if you can find my keys? <laughs> <laughs> I keep everything in there. It's easier than carrying a backpack. It's uh, like Mary Poppins carpet bag. 
yeah, I would really like to go. We've been talking about taking a little vacation as a family um, and, and going to do something like that. I just don't, the whole traveling to another country thing with the COVID test, I have like this fear of getting trapped in another country. Like if it shuts down or if they lock it down or. I think you're lying. I think you're just worried that you and your, your daughters and your wife might not get to come back across the border because they yeah, are part so Mexican. They're, they're half Mexican. Right. I mean, See, I and, thought about and, that too, but I was like, eh, my kids are still home. I, I would turn them in. You know? <laughs> like I would report them as illegals. I'll, 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 uh, I'll confiscate their passports and then tell the authorities that they don't have passports. They've been, they've been following me since I left to go to the airport. I think they're trying to steal me that's hilarious no uh, the, uh you should do it don't screw that travel don't worry about that you're fine especially this place they can arrange it all there, there right like i don't have to I, if i bought the tickets i don't have to prove anything to go to mexico but on the way back you have I to have just to, say hey you know if you're only there for like six or six days you don't have to do anything you just fill out a questionnaire do you feel bad no here's your temperature okay cool go that's it right. but the resort's all inclusive so once you get there you ain't gonna pay for anything but yeah. you have to make reservations for the restaurants, which kind of sucks because uh, they can book up fast. But there's a buffet every morning, noon, and night. There's room service 24-7. Man, they have room yeah, service 24-7. It's been a few years. The last time we went to Mexico, we went to Puerto Vallarta, and we stayed at a nice little all-inclusive. Fancy. That was a fun time. But uh, now that we're over here on the other side of Mexico, uh, that I, I'd like to do the Cancun area. But anyways, that's super cool. Glad you got to do it. Uh, I did listen to a little bit of the conversation with this podcast that you guys were talking about. So it sounded like the food was good and a good time was had by all. You guys uh, had a great time. Well, and this is I, this was actually, these are, uh, I have one little thing. This is my, uh, my brother-in-law saying his vows during the wedding. <laughs> Yeah, no, he now really, play what, really now, now play what she uh, the sound she was making on her wedding night. <laughs> it's funny, they really immersed themselves into a traditional Mayan wedding, so they had to do that. So at the end, he sacrificed her on an altar. Um, oh, you want to hear a funny story? You should listen to the rest of the conversation with us because there was a moment during the wedding that Evelyn thought the dog was going to get it. <laughs> they walked up with the dog on a leash and they're like, hey, you know, they're doing the little chanting, there's a little incense burning and they're singing and and it's like evelyn <laughs> evelyn looked at me and i'm like what but i didn't know what she was talking about later on she's like i thought they were gonna kill the dog <laughs> but they're gonna sacrifice the dog <laughs> oh man so uh it, it while you were away just having the time of your life in a foreign country and like uh drinking booze and sleeping with mexican prostitutes i didn't um, do either of those things i was wink, back wink. here working hard uh, but anyways, no, I had this. So I had a funny. You don't thing have happen. a job that's difficult. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I did have a funny thing kind of happen to me. I mean, I guess it it was not too funny uh, actually. But so uh, I get proposed uh, uh, new um, uh, products all the time, right? And I think I've shared with you some of those. I've had some sent to your house. You know, people are always sending me booze and wanting me to evaluate it or wanting me to distribute it. It's a whole thing. Okay. Um, and it sounds like a great thing, but sometimes when you get sent really horrible booze, it's uh. It's a quite an adventure to, to, to try it and drink it. But anyways, so this guy really wanted to have a meeting with me and I agreed to meet him at, at a restaurant and it was kind of a, you know, average little restaurant, but whatever. So we're sitting there, we're having lunch. He's making his presentation. <clears throat> He's an older gentleman. I mean, I would say uh, early to mid sixties, if that makes sense. Hold on a second. Old. Okay. No, oh, yeah. I had to use my cough button there if I could. Uh, oh, and, that what that what that was? Your, it wasn't okay. Never mind. Keep going. Yeah, whatever. Um. <laughs> anyways, so he's he's like in his mid sixties. But anyway, so we're talking, we're having this conversation. You know, they bring in the chips and salsa. We're eating the chips and Ooh. salsa. They're drinking a water. We're having a cocktail. Where he's giving me his sales pitch. But during the meeting, oh, is that what you call like, it now? What? Giving it your sales pitch. Oh yeah, that's what, yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> what he was trying to give me. Um. So, but during the, during the meeting, he kind of like, he pulled out a little handkerchief and he's kind of like dabbing his head, you know, like he was still sweaty. It's like, okay, okay. you know, I get that. It's a, he's a little muggy, you know, it's a little muggy outside. Uh, I get that. And then we're going on a little further and he's dabbing more sweat, but you know, he's kind of looking a little pale. So I go, Hey, uh, are you all right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. He continued on, continue on. Uh -oh. Well, then he's dabbing his face a little bit more and he's looking more and more pale. And he kind of was tugging on his shirt, like as if, um, as if he was popping his suspenders like you know if someone's like putting their thumb under their suspenders or like adjusting yeah. it or something like that or giving himself room almost right 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 like he's kind of like popping the shirt a little bit like giving himself some some air and popping those suspenders or whatever and and, and just and i and i ask him again are, are you are you okay man you, are you all right 
Yeah, yeah. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm a little lightheaded, but I'm all right. I'm like, okay, oh, wait, hold okay. on. Before you go any farther, is are you eating somebody a dinner with somebody uh, that knows Miss Doubtfire? Because this sounds vaguely familiar to a scene that happened in that <laughs> My movie. My first day as a woman, and I'm already getting hot flashes. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, keep going. No, so, uh, yeah, so you kept doing this, and this was going on for a while to the point where I was starting to get extremely distracted from listening to the guy talk, and I was kind of like looking at him because my first thought was, is this guy like full on got COVID and he's, you know, going to word out oh. sharing the chips and salsa or like what's going on? So I'm kind of just eyeballing him and uh, I, I stopped eating the chips and salsa. I went to like, oh, I'm going to just keep to myself now and all this. And then he's in mid sentence. And he's saying something to the effect of, and I'm just going to like uh, make up a quote here, but it was something like this. So Eric, so that's why we got to in the next quarter at the start in January, we got to do, and he starts making a sound, clutches his chest, falls out of the chair onto the restaurant floor, clutching his chest. He's having a heart attack. And you're the whole time going, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm like, uh, finish your story there, guy. Uh, on, no, so I, I get out of my chair and I kind of go over to him laying on the floor now. And I, I kind of signal for the uh, server. And there wasn't too many people at the restaurant. It was like a lunchtime. wasn't too packed. And I call her over. I said, uh, you might want to call an ambulance. This guy's having some problems. And, and she comes over there. She freaks out, doesn't know what to do. And I say, you might want to go call someone. And she doesn't know what to do, doesn't know what to do. The manager comes over. He calls an ambulance. So moron the guy's trying to sit up like he keeps trying to like he's trying to get up and i'm like whoa whoa whoa, whoa, my buddy just lay lay there lay there and he goes i this is a disgusting restaurant floor i want to get up and i said it's just stay there don't worry about it stay there <laughs> so so he stays there for a little while he asks for uh um uh, his handkerchief or whatever and i i asked them to get him a towel and d- dunk it in some water and they're He's, he's kind of like a, a blotting the, the cool cloth on his head. And mm-hmm. he eventually kind of sits up and sits up in the booth and um, uh, is kind of sitting there and we're waiting for the ambulance to arrive. And he's still clutching his chest and stuff like that. He, uh, wow. so the ambulance gets there and they're checking him out. And they're like, well, you, you, had, a, you had a heart attack and uh, you're at risk for another one. It could have been like a, like, you know, when you have an earthquake, but it's like the, the mild one earthquake. And then the big earthquake comes later. They said, oh, this could have been like the, the, the warning first heart attack, the warning heart attack. Yeah. And so they're like, okay, we got to take you, take you away and all that kind of stuff. And he goes, oh, I wasn't done with my, my business luncheon. Oh my God. And he's trying to convince them to say, oh, let me stick around. And, and here's the sad part. I have no intention of bringing on this guy's products. I was humoring him by giving him this lunch meeting. I didn't think. Killed him. You killed him. I killed him. You so killed him. This poor old guy who's trying to stay in the business and stick around in a young man's game is pitching a product that I had no intention of bringing in, and now he's having a heart attack. So as they're about to, they're like literally get, they're getting the little gurney thing, and they're going to load him up, and they're going to take him away. He tosses me his keys, and he goes, "Eric, out in the car, I had samples for you." Oh my God, this could guy! You go, could you go get them and put them in your car? I said. I said, man, don't worry about it right now. He goes, please, please, please. I'm like, all right, all right. So I run out there because they're going to take him away any moment. Yeah. And so they run out there. I run out there. I open up his car. I get the case of, of goodies out and I put it in my car and I lock up and I go back to his car. I'm like, you know what? He's, his car's going to be left here. He has a laptop like sitting in his back of car. Like I hid that under the seat. And like, I kind of like. What kind of car was it? Uh, it was like an SUV. It was like a Toyota RAV4. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And, um, uh, put in a seat. I put the like the laptop under a seat. I hid his backpack in the back and kind of covered it with some stuff. And I locked up. The What'd car you take? I didn't take anything because I felt like because in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking this guy. It wasn't a heart attack. This guy had COVID. Like I, didn't, <laughs> like, I don't know. That's what I was just thinking in the back of my head. And uh, I run back and I I literally get there as they're like loading him into the ambulance. Okay. Um, into the back and I kind of hand him the keys and I told him I locked up and I hid some of the stuff in the car and all that kind of stuff. And he goes, oh, hold on a minute. And he, he's trying to like reach in his pocket, but like they have him kind of like tied down or whatever because they were moving him. And he reaches in his pocket and he pulls out a folded paper that was his price sheet. And he wants to hand me the price sheet <laughs> of the products I just put in my car. And I'm like, don't worry about this right now. He's like, well, I want to give you the pricing so you could evaluate all this. Okay, fine. And I take that. And the, meanwhile, the, the ambulance, the paramedics guys are like, uh, please stop. Like, we, we got to just take you. But this guy was trying to sell me right up until the moment he was taken away in an ambulance. Uh, and then, New job, huh? <laughs> so here, here's the other kind of funny thing. 
So I, I watch the ambulance go away and I go, huh, well, that was interesting. Well, all right, I'm just going to go home and, and, you know, this is an interesting one. And I leave and I didn't realize it till I got home. No one paid the check. Well, did you eat? I mean, yeah, because it was it wasn't one of those places that gives you the chips and salsa for free. It was one of those we ordered like the queso dip. Oh, we also ordered a cocktail each. What will hold <laughs> so on? Hold on. Hold on. You we do. You do booze, dip. right? What? So you probably drink. You dr did you have? Did you drink his product? No, no, no. We ordered cocktails from the bar. Like I, uh, I know, but I didn't know if you were at a bar where his product was at or something. No, 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 no. no. He, this guy was selling like no name. Gonna say his there. product killed him. Yeah, I know, right? Like, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he, like, I was having cocktails. We had that little queso dip. I mean, not that the bill would have been much, but it was a good, like, $25, $30, you know, bill, $25 bill or whatever, plus tip and all that. $25 and I just didn't bill. Realize it. And it wasn't like I skipped out on it intentionally. I mean, believe me, I've skipped out on plenty of checks when the service is, like, that horrible. True. But I would never do so intentionally, um, just, you know, whatever. It was just absent-minded. I, I literally was transferring samples to my car from this guy's car who just had a heart attack and then giving him his keys back and watching him drive away in an ambulance i'm just thinking all right well i'm gonna go home now and i it wasn't until i got home i was like oh shit i never it's, paid for any of that stuff well it's funny because i'm sure that they didn't remember anything well until later yeah, he should have paid he was the one who wanted to present <laughs> the product the, the rule of thumb is in this industry yes if you want to present the product you pay for the lunch it's it's like a standard unwritten rule amongst salesmen i think he, i think he was a little pre I think he was a little preoccupied, Eric. So I was thinking, let me ask you a question. Dick move or not, if I send him a bill for the the uh, the lunch. Did you go back and pay for it? Oh, God, no. Okay, well, then no. Just but let the restaurant I, deal with I, it. Kind of sounds like the restaurant. Kind of sounds like the restaurant, the server you had was an idiot. If they walked over there, I'm like, what do I do? Well, I mean, but I could make some money on this. He doesn't know that we didn't pay. I could $35. Say, Dude, I got to make money. How am I going to pay for That's this trip right. to Mexico? You would be Jewish if you could be. I would be. If they let you in. Look at Watch. I could even do. I could, <laughs> I'm already ready to be Jewish. Watch this. Ready? Listen. Oy vey. Oh, like, see, I already have my grunts down. Uh, I mean, I, I'm ready for You're it. already yeah. short, bald, and angry all the time. <laughs> and angry all the time. Well, so besides that, the only other news I had was my mom came to town, which I was really excited about. Uh, Wait, was your mom the one that just had a stroke? No, she's the one who gave him the stroke. Oh. Uh, no, she, oh. she was really cool. She It was like a, a really short notice. Uh, she gave us like a week heads up. Not even a week. It was like a five-day heads up. Uh, like, hey, can I come out? It's like, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I'm uh, coming out in five days. Oh, well, she sure. robbed a bank. All right, we'll get the room ready and uh, um, all that. So that was really cool. You know, I, uh, one of the few things I miss about California, and I only miss a few, is missing seeing family. And so that was kind of nice to to have her come out and was really excited about that. And then the other quick development before we end for the day, just to show you how uh, my children do not do their damn chores. Uh, they're uh -oh. supposed to empty the trash. They finally emptied the trash in the guest bathroom. Mm. And what do they find? My contact lens things. No, a uh, an empty Michelob Ultra can in ah, the bathroom enough. trash, which since you're the only one who has drank beer in our household in the last like six months, because no one in this household drinks beer. Uh, but it was just funny because I was trying to prove a point to them. You guys yeah. never take out the trash. We take it out all the time. Oh, really? Here's a Michelob Ultra can in this trash can. And From how long has it been since Chris has been here? A few <laughs> weeks. You do not take it. It was like a perfect dad moment. Oh, yeah. They were really trying to hammer me on the, we totally do our chores. And it's like, oh, really? Here's, when was Chris here? I got to like literally whip out a calendar. I was, it felt like I was in like a law and order episode. Like I was proving my case. Put your hands uh, out. We're going to make them red. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to smack. I'm going to beat the hell out of you. But, okay. Uh, I got a quick game for you. All right. All right. This is a game called uh, yes or no. I've made it up right now. You're going to say yes or no to things that may or may not have happened to my babysitter while we were in Mexico. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. Okay. Yes or no. She got into a car accident. Hmm. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, nope. She got into a car accident. Oh my goodness. Uh, All right. Yes. Oh, yes okay. or no. Everybody's fine. Yes or no. Our dog got deathly ill and she had to take it to the vet. Holy shit. I hope not. No. Wait, you don't have a dog. Zoe. I have Zoe. Oh, I have you a, do I have have Zoe. a, yeah, but a you pillow of feet. Yeah, so our dog got really, really sick the day we left. They had to take it to the vet three days later. We had a call from uh, a pyramid, actually. We were talking to our vet, so that was fun. Oh, 
Well, okay, hold on, hold on, not done. Good, good thing you weren't traveling to China. They would have just said to eat the dog. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't see any cows in Mexico, but the tacos were great. <laughs> it's, it's that horse meat, baby. It's the monkey tacos. Uh, okay, okay, let's see what else uh, we got going on here. Okay, um, my son did absolutely nothing in school the whole week because I was gone. Oh, 100% yes. Yeah, that was an easy one. That was a gimme. Okay. I'm trying to remember everything else that happened, but I know there's more. Oh, my son's Discord uh, and uh, computer was hacked. Yes, because I know that's happened to my daughter as well. Yeah. Um, my daughter lost a tooth. No, I think that's a red herring. Oh, lost a tooth. I know I'm forgetting something else. Oh, 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 <laughs> this is just a cream of the crop. You're going to get this one right because I'm going to tell you. Uh, so to make it worse, uh, her car did get hit. Uh, the front bumper was coming off. And uh, before I left, I knew Tuesday was going to be street sweeping day. So I parked the Suburban behind the Kia that doesn't work. The Suburban, the Kia works fine. So when her car got hurt, she couldn't even get the Kia out because the battery was dead in the Suburban. Oh, nice. So she wow. couldn't even use another car. But luckily, Jolene was here with her car. But yeah, man, I had a hell of a week for her. And I know I'm forgetting something. That would be really stressful to be out of the country and and had just have shit happen. Oh, yeah. And they didn't even tell us the accident when it happened on that day because it was wedding day. And they all were like, family meeting. Okay, we're not going to tell them till tomorrow, right? Yeah, we won't tell them till tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so they didn't even tell us till Thursday. And everybody was fine. It was just Cassie and her in the car. But the guy was a douchebag. But yeah, it was a fun-filled week. Go to Converse Seat with us or go listen to Converse Seat with us. This is funner.com to find out all the fun that happened on Adventures in Babysitting. Hey, man, that sounds great. Uh, glad you're back safely and uh, glad uh, no, no pets and or children or babysitters uh, perished in the uh, telling of that tale. And uh, I guess uh, that's it. Uh, the only thing I have, man, is uh, uh, listen to this season six just Ooh. launched. I can't believe I'm in season six. Uh, when I first thought up the, that idea for the podcast, I thought it would be a one-off because uh, it was just so much work to do. But we had such great feedback on it. And, and uh, it's, uh, I, even though it's a lot of hard work, I had a lot of fun doing the hard work to do it. And so I'm really excited about season six. And I hope everyone gives it a listen. So please listen and subscribe. Yeah, the first episode's out now. It's called Animals, but not Dogs. Because I already did a dogs episode. You did. And the next one coming out next week, Spoken Word. So keep an eye out for that. And check out Bad Ideas at ThisIsFunner.com also, okay? All right. Say goodbye. You have to go, like, don't you have to go scold your children or something? I have to go pick up my child from school. Ah, go empty the garbage. All right. Later. Bye. Bye. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.